Have you seen the new puzzles for Ravensburger? They're called the Disney Castle Collection. This video, we're going to take a look at all 10 of them, and then we'll even do one. See if I can work out a strategy that you can use if you'd like to try one. Here we have Ariel from The Little Mermaid. These puzzles, they all have the princess and then the cutaway of the castle they're affiliated with. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them, and I can't wait to get to it here in a couple weeks. Now we have Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Beast Castle. This one should be a lot of fun now. The rooms are different colors, and the background has different layers to it. Here we have Aurora, aka Sleeping Beauty, in her castle. Did you know she also has a third name she goes by? If you know what it is, leave it in the comments. If not, I'll fill you in later on in the video. This is the only one that has other characters besides the princess and it. She's got three fairy godmothers up there. Here we have Elsa from Frozen. This is one of the only two that are horizontal instead of vertical like the rest of them. Now we have Jasmine from Aladdin and a look inside of her palace. This one looks really good too. And here's Rapunzel and we can take a look inside of her tower. I think I'm going to get this one too. And there's Merida from Brave. This one I think is going to be one of the tougher ones because the rooms are pretty much all the same color. And of course we got to have Cinderella in her castle. But finally we get to see inside of it instead of just the outside. And now we have Mulan's palace. This is the other one that's horizontal instead of vertical. This one will probably be a little tougher too since all the rooms are red. And the last puzzle we have to look at from the collection is Snow White. We have Snow White of course and a look inside of her castle. We have the dungeon here, we have the throne room, a cool staircase going up, we have a hallway, it's like the mirror room, a bedroom up here and a tower, a little kitchen down here. Oh, and she's even got three of her bird friends up here. This is the one we're going to be doing today. And if you like these puzzles, feel free to subscribe because over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing the other three puzzles from this collection and we can see if our strategy works with those too. I think what we'll do is we'll start with Snow White herself. And you start with her hair. That shouldn't be too hard. There's not a lot of it. And then maybe do her face. Probably this part of her dress we'll hold off on and do it when we do this guy up here. And then we can do her dress. That's the only real other yellow in the puzzle. And then I think we could start down here with these trees and kind of work our way up. Maybe come up here. There's only a small area here with the side of the castle. For the puzzle itself, this could be a bit of a mess. I think what we could do is do the floors and the walls here all the way around. And then maybe do the roofs of the towers and just we, we should be able to see where they go and just have them floating around that way we can come off of those and come out the bottom and then the rooms maybe start with this one this one looks like it'll be easy it really stands out amongst the other ones we can treat those as little mini puzzles and just do them one at a time the only rooms that worry me a little bit is maybe the staircase here this hallway maybe the throne room here is there i'll have that green color tool and probably start here work your way up and around and just treat it like a gradient puzzle and i think these birds up here might even help us with that a little bit we can do those and then work our way around it i think and then once we get up here we can knock out the rest of her dress they look about the same color blue so let's crack this baby open and see what we got <laughs>
Your Snow White, all finished. This was a really fun puzzle to do. There are actually a few surprises. One is for the better, actually. So if you notice, I didn't quite follow my plan, but it, it ended up working out. I started off when I was sorting. The yellow up here and the green in these bushes were really jumping out at me. So I went ahead, finished up her skirt, and then a mistake I made was coming down here. I thought, oh, it's just one area of green. I can knock that out real quick. Looking at it, I was trying to do bush by bush. So there's actually more like one, two, three, four, five, six areas of green, not just one. So it ended up taking probably close to an hour just to do this area here. I'll get to a bit, but I think it would have worked out better if I waited. So uh, after I got that done, I went ahead, did her hair and her face. Because of this yellow line right here, I was able to follow that down. So all I had left really was the strip. And you could actually keep going on it. Because this blue here, it's a different blue than that. It's hard to tell, but it's different. Now one of the surprises was how we did the framework for all the rooms. That was actually pretty tough. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be easy. Everything's pretty much straight lines. Like the angles here and here and here. Those kind of were a little tougher and the, the colors all the same for all this around there. This one here and here wasn't too bad because they're a lot brighter. But as I was doing that, I'd get a little stuck. So I'd come over and work out in this area here a little bit because you can see these pieces really easy in with the rest of the room pieces. So anytime I get a little stuck on this, I just throw a couple pieces in. By the time I got done, I think I had this room here done, the courtyard. And I did end up doing the tower tops. That helped a little bit. But the biggest surprise of this whole puzzle was how easy filling all these rooms in were. I think from looking at the picture so much, doing the outline here, I really got to know these rooms and I didn't even sort the pieces for the different rooms. I just would grab one out. I knew right where it would go every time. So that was probably the easy, one of the easiest parts of the puzzle was the part I was worried about most was filling all these rooms in. And I think if I would have waited to get this in this bottom area of the castle, this would have went a lot easier because then you'd have this to go off of and the bottom row to go off of. So if you do it, I'd, wait, I'd save this till you get the castle done and then come back and do it. I think it'd be a lot easier. I did end up putting those birds together and that did help up in this area because that blue is all the same color. So that helped out a bit. And the rest of it across, it, it was not a problem, especially coming down through here. So I would suggest this puzzle or one of the other ones that's similar to this one, like the Aurora one. Speaking of Aurora... Her other name she has is Briar Rose. If you didn't know, I just found that out a couple of weeks ago. I've heard the name a million times, but I never knew where it even came from. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you done one of these yet? Or are you going to? Be interesting to see if your strategy was different or if you used my strategy and what you thought. If you like this video, I'll link another one I think you'll like. <laughs>